The reason Musk has been going for Starmer over the last week is he knows what the reaction is going to be. So let me get this straight. Not only are the UK government threatening to throw US citizens in jail, but they've also started a new program to indoctrinate five-year-olds in school what misinformation is and what hate speech is so that they can point that out in society like they're Hitler youth. As a result of all of this, Elon Musk has banned on X the UK government's account. This comes off the back of exactly what we saw in Australia, where the Australian government had this E. Karen hired, this commissar hired, to censor the entire internet. Now, what is it with these Five Eyes countries that they just want to control the world? Check this out from Nigel Farage. This is not a law-free zone. And I think that's clear from the prosecutions and sentencing. Today we're due sentencing for online behaviour. That's a reminder to everyone that whether you're directly involved or whether you're remotely involved, uh, you're culpable um, and you will be put before the courts if you've broken the law. I do agree that we're going to have to look um, more broadly at social media um, after uh, this disorder. But what we are allowed to do on social media, or should be allowed to do, is to speculate, is to ask questions, yes. uh, is to try and put facts out, try and put facts out that wake up the rest of the community. And when you're engaged in something like that, you can never ever guarantee that what you say is 100% true. You may yeah. think it's true at the time. You may ask a question whether it's true. Now, Starmer, by cracking down on that, poses, I think, the biggest threat to free speech we've seen in our history. And Elon Musk, Elon Musk has caught wind of this. You yes. see, I think the reason that Musk, the reason Musk has been going for Starmer over the last week is he knows what the reaction is going to be. And can I just add, worse still, yes. there is a proposal, a proposal today that from the age of five years old, our kids in schools should be taught to spot extremism to spot fake news and misinformation, and to use their powers of critical thinking to work out what's true and what's not. Now, by the way, I believe in critical thinking. However, if the parameters that are set are to say to every kid, if you read a post that questions net zero and global warming, it will be extreme content and a lie. If you read a post that even dares to question levels of immigration, legal or illegal, into Britain, that that's extremist, then you start to set a narrative for a future generation that is fundamentally undemocratic. So I am very worried that the instincts of a left-wing Labour Party are to use this crisis to take away our liberties and our free speech. And this is going to have to be fought. This is incredibly dangerous, and it reminds me of what was happening here in America right after the 2020 election where people were speculating and asking questions. If you are afraid that you're going to get arrested just because you're asking questions, well, your freedom of speech is gone. Nigel, let me ask you, for you personally, are you concerned that any statements you make could get you arrested? Yes. I mean, after the murder, after the triple murder um, of those poor, sweet little girls, um, a few hours went by and there was huge speculation online about this man. Was he an illegal immigrant? Was he an Islamist? And no one knew the truth. Um, and I simply asked on X, I simply asked, did this man have a record? Is he somebody that the security services were watching? Um, answer there came none. Then after the riots happened, you've got the whole establishment saying that I encouraged rioting. Well, I mean, all I did was to say, please tell us the truth. Funnily enough, if they had told us the truth, the rioting would not have been anything like as bad as it was. And the authorities need to wake up to an online world. So, yes, I am currently coming under um, a serious assault. And many of the campaigners on the left are publicly saying that I should be arrested simply for asking to know the truth about the murderer. And, and so, that yeah, is, I'm worried. Yes. And that is why Elon Musk tweeted out, you're blocked from X. I, mean, I don't know if it was the, the proper uh, handle that he put on there. He said to the UK government, you're blocked because we have our own rules here on X. And, you know, in America, we saw this take place after COVID. 
a lot of people questioned uh, whether or not they yeah. wanted to get the vaccine, and the left comes up with these pejoratives, and suddenly you're canceled or you're ridiculed in in the public square. If you know you're you're an anti-vaxer, you're an election denier. These pejoratives, yeah. and and all of a sudden you are shamed on the public square. This is very dangerous. Where is this going in the UK? Uh, yeah, and I mean, Facebook are far worse. I, I mean, a lot of people, um, I'll, put, I'll put posts out on Facebook, factual posts about information I've discovered about, for example, the numbers crossing the English Channel by small boat. Um, and people who like my Facebook posts get their accounts suspended. Uh, so it's quite sinister, the way in which it's happening. And, and the big one for us was lockdown. You know, three times we had a national lockdown due to COVID. And I have to tell you, by lockdowns two and three, I was absolutely contemptuous of the whole thing. And I was saying, hey, look at what Florida are doing. Look at what Sweden are doing. But, but literally, if you question lockdowns, if you said this is government taking excessive freedoms from us, uh, you would find your Facebook account suspended for a period of time. And that's the problem here. Yeah. You know, we may be talking, we, we may be talking, Talking in the wake of some pretty ugly, violent riots. But if, you, if that is used as an excuse for government and big social media yeah. companies That's right. to, close, to close down debates that they find inconvenient, then what price democracy? And I think the host really has pointed out a key point there. The Five Eyes community, these intelligence agencies around the world, they're clearly talking to each other. The Twitter files showed that, which exposed how closely the federal government in the US and other governments are actually working with big tech to censor free speech online. So they've failed in Australia with the e-safety Karen to censor the internet when the bishop was stabbed and that recording was censored. But when it comes to censorship from the UK, they're now trying to push it from there. Elon Musk is clearly waking up to this, as Nigel Farage said. There's clearly, because there's an election going on with the president in the USA, they're throwing everything they can at this. And thank God for Elon Musk. Thank God for people like Nigel Farage and others calling this out because they are using other countries, their governments, their intelligence agencies to interfere in the US election. This is completely disgusting, completely disgusting. And for all that crap, they talked about Russia interfering in the US election in 2016. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? We've had the Australian government almost interfere with the e-current. And then on top of that, we've had a situation with the UK government, essentially. Now, this is the thing. Are they interfering right now? Who knows? Who knows? It's so shadowy. But on top of that, if they have the power to jail and extradite US citizens to the UK for breaking news stories, then if let the next time a, a Hunter Biden laptop story comes out, yeah, that's exactly what could happen. Now, this is an insane topic. I'm going to keep working to find some more information on this, especially with Australia and how our government is interfering in the American democracy. But this is exactly the crux of it. This is what they're doing to subvert the US election. This is clearly, again, all roads lead to Rome on this, and America is clearly going through something right now that the whole intelligence agencies and all of these international organizations that are trying to subvert the Trump campaign are directed towards. This is exactly what they want. They want to in interfere with it. They need to help Kamala Harris win the election. And they're trying to censor any kind of dirt that could come out in an election cycle similar to the Hunter Biden laptop story. You guys know all this, but give this a share. Get it out there. It's absolutely disgusting, and I'm, cons I, I, I'm still getting shocked by the depravity of the people we're up against, but I really shouldn't. Anyway, give this a share, get it out there, and let me know what you think in the comments.